What up? It's Jimmy from odds.com. This is a clip from my NHL show. To check out the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on odds.com. But most importantly, let's keep some giant cashers coming, baby. 9 p.m., our next game on the docket, Anaheim Duck, 6-12-5, and 3-5-2 and away at Colorado Avalanche, 12-7-1, and 5-3-0 and at home. We're at Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. This total is what I attacked, and had I have waited, would have got a better number. I'm on the under 5.5 at minus 120. I believe, and this is... I mean, not always true, but if I like a certain spot, I expect it to get bet. So I often just snap up the opening line. I expected it to get bet here, and that's not what's happened. I could now get a minus 115, and that surprises me. Let's check out the money line here in this spot. The money line has... Anaheim opening up at plus 210, and that hasn't moved. They're still sitting at plus 210. John Gibson should be between the pipes in Ball Arena, Denver, Colorado. 5, 10, and 4, 2.78 goals against average, 903 save percentage, three shutouts, and he's not being the goalie that we remember from 2015 to 2019. Now, it sucks having the team that he has in front of him, and the defense as well in front of him, and that's part of it, but he just doesn't look as dominant. Nearly as dominant. And he didn't look as good last year. Philip Grubauer, I expect to be in between the pipes for Colorado. 11-6-0, 2.07 goals against average, 9-20 save percentage, three shutouts. Ducks power play weak, 10.9%. You have Getzlaff, who is, you know, not nearly the Getzlaff we remember, who is a key cog in Team Canada's. And they have Cam Fowler back there, but they're missing Hampus Lindholm, and they don't have snipers. I don't know really if this belief in Sam Steele and uh, Troy Terry was warranted. They were not really high draft picks. I, the fact, the thought that they could come in and be snipers was uh, a mistake. Their pe- penalty killing is strong, 81%. The Avs power play, 24.1%. Their penalty killing, excellent, 88.9%. Anaheim's lost eight straight, with the last five all coming by one goal. This is a very weak club. But with the injuries that the Avalanche are facing, it would be ducks or no bet for me on the side. They have no depth offensively or defensively. Ryan Getzlaff between Maxime Comtois and Troy Terry is the worst ranked first line in the NHL. And last night we asked, I asked on the show, what first line could be worse than the Detroit Red Wings first line? I couldn't see it. What first line could possibly be worse? Well, here you have it. Jakob Silverberg never developed into the sniper that they were expecting, that they were hoping for when they got him from the Ottawa Senators. Trevor Zegras, ninth overall pick in 2019 out of the Boston University. He looks like he could be special, but he's in over his head. He's too young. He's, he's like 150 pounds. I don't know how he can play in the NHL. It's a man's league. He's got one assist in five games. It's not going to be an easy move. Now, when he was with the San Diego Gulls, for, it was just eight games, but he scored nine points. and He was dominant. NHL is different. There's too much onus on Cam Fowler to be the anchor of this defense with Hampus Lindholm hurt. This team desperately needs lottery picks, and they will get them because they're bad. They have difficulty scoring, and they are okay defensively. Two years ago, they were had difficulty scoring and were great defensively. Last year, they had difficulty scoring, and they were good defensively. Now we've got to the point where they have difficulty scoring, and they're okay defensively. John Gibson, not the dominant goalie we remember, but he's still capable enough. Avalanche have won three of four. They have mounting injuries. Defenseman Kale McCarr McCarr and Bowen Byram have gone down in the last week. Losing two of your top four defensemen is very difficult to overcome. And when the team is down two of their top four defensemen, I fade them. I fade them. I fade them. There's no way I'm putting money on this Anaheim Duck squad. Now, don't forget, this Avalanche team also lost Eric Johnson to injury at the beginning of the year. Forward Matt Calvert is dealing with a concussion. He's been out since February 24th. And during their 4-0 win over the Sharks on Wednesday – They lost Nathan McKinnon to an upper body injury. He left that game early. We've not received an update. We don't know. Now, supposedly, it's not bad, but there's not been an official update, and who knows if he's going to be in the lineup. Without McKinnon, they certainly have enough to take out this Duck squad, although I certainly wouldn't take them as big favorites. I do think the Avs are going to play a conservative road game and cash us the under five and a half. 